60 years ago today, uh, on August 19th, 1953, the democratically elected Prime Minister of Iran, Mohammad Mossadegh, was deposed in a coup. Well, for a long time, of course, we said, a coup, we don't know anything about that. Of course, the United States government, CIA, had nothing to do with it. Well, that's interesting because President Clinton and President Obama have both acknowledged that, in fact, we did organize that coup. And finally, today, the CIA also acknowledges it. It was part of a Section 3 in newly released uh, documents entitled Covert Action. And they talk about this action called TPA-JAX, okay? And what did they do in that? They explained the military coup that overthrew Mossadegh and his National Front Cabinet was carried out under CIA direction as an act of U.S. foreign policy. The risk of leaving Iran open to Soviet aggression compelled the United States in planning and executing TPA-JAX. In other words, absolutely, we did the coup and it was U.S. foreign policy that brought down the democratically elected leader of Iran back in 1953. Gee, I wonder why they can't stand us. Remember Joe Scarborough famously saying, they hate us because they hate us. They hate us because they hate us. Or maybe they hate us because we took down their democracy. And what happened? We imposed the Shah, who basically took all the natural resources of Iran and conveniently handed it to the people that the CIA actually worked for, which is not the United States government or the US taxpayers. It's US companies that are, of course, in reality now multinational companies. Those corporations got the resources at much cheaper rates that the Shah was willing to agree to because we're the ones who put them in power in the first place. And as the Iranian people were raped of their resources by a guy they did not elect, and the guy they elected was overthrown in a coup, gee, I wonder why they got upset. I wonder why they didn't like America. I wonder why they then had the unfortunate reaction of going towards the fundamentalists. And then they did the revolution and they kidnapped our hostages. And then we turned around and said, why did they do that? Now, I was, of course I'm against them uh, taking our hostages. I'm against the fundamentalist Muslim government. But that's why I wouldn't have overthrown their democracy in the first place. That's what happens when you do coups like that. But they don't give a damn about that. They just think, how am I going to get the oil for as cheap as I possibly can? And give it over to ExxonMobil and all the other companies, and I only use them as an example in this case, that are just going to suck all the resources out of that country. We do this over and over again. Now, here's the really interesting part. They also explain in these documents that are now released decades later how they did the coup. Quote, Using, these were the different tactics they used. Using propaganda to undermine Mossadegh politically, inducing the Shah to cooperate, bribing members of parliament, organizing the security forces, and ginning up public demonstrations. Isn't that fascinating? All those times that different leaders throughout the world say, oh, you know what, this is just the CIA ginning up public demonstrations against me. It's the U.S. that are trying to impose their interest here in our country. We always say, oh, you guys are crazy, man. You're cuckoo for cocoa, but the CIA isn't bringing those people out. They're not the ones doing the demonstrations. They're, the members of parliament, they're representing other people in your country. It turns out, no, in some instances, of course not in all instances, but in some instances, it was the CIA that did that demonstration. It was the CIA that bribed your member of parliament and organized that coup against you. It was the CIA that did all these things in the case of Iran. And if you think Iran is alone, you obviously don't know a thing about history. Not only did we do this over and over again in the Middle East, but we also did it in Africa, and we also did it in Latin America, let alone Southeast Asia. We did this all over the world. And then we turn around when the rest of the world is livid with us, and we go, nah, they hate us because they hate us. No, they hate us because we did this for decades. They're not the crazy ones. If you're a US citizen out there, and you think our government would never do that, and didn't do that, you're the crazy one. And now, even the CIA acknowledges that. 